Good morning, my Cancerians. Happy Saturday morning. How are you cutie pies doing? I hope you are having a great weekend. Uh, some exciting plans. The birds are singing here in Northern Indiana. Um, the It's overcast. I love it. I hope it rains. I like rainy days. I really do, Cancer. I do. Harry the Capricorn joins us. He's on the Ottoman. I'm watching him in this viewfinder and he hasn't moved. I honestly think he's sleeping with his eyes open. I think he is. I had to go look closer. He is knocked out. He's like 10. He can sleep through any, well, he can't sleep through fireworks. I wish he could. Um, but yeah, Cancer, back to you. We are using Terror of the Mystical Moments for the main deck, the Chariot Reverse for the Clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. We have a Two of Cups, which is your card. We have a Chariot Reverse, which is your card. How weird is that? It would be weirder if we have more of your energy. Uh, but before I dig into it, thank you, Cancer, for being here, listening to me, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why you listen to me, blah, 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 but yet you do. And if you're new to my channel, feeling my vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, well, I'm curious, what is under this Two of Cups? I need to know. Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. This feels like your patience for something patience that something's going to work out queen of swords is trying to get a better view on it uh, that's what i feel keeping your maybe keeping yourself let's just say this is somebody you have your eye on and maybe there's this this connection two of cups but it's all about st strategy and timing five of wands i don't think it's negative per se Maybe they're in something. It's all about strategy and timing. And you're over here making, sh I feel like you may have your heart a little more blocked for other people, but you got your eye, you're super focused on one person and patience that it's gonna happen. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. Why the chariot reverse though? Four of cups, so waiting, yeah, an ace of pentacles. And a seven of cups reverse. You're clear on what you want, but you're waiting for it to come towards you. Um, so you can get that chariot upright. All right, can Cancer, seven. Oh, no, not the tractors. That is very loud. Or lawnmowers. All right, there he is. You're awake. All right, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Cancer, know a Cancer. Be a like being a Cancer. Well, Cancer, I'm always glad to see you guys. But of course, it could resonate if you're a Cancer. But you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be like a Virgo. You could be an Aquarius watching this. And it could still resonate as the main story. Take it as it resonates. Stay open. I know a lot of people watch for love, but this could honestly be about work or uh, a neighbor or, you know, a, a family member or a friend. So just stay open to the energies. All right. General energy for my Cancerians. What are the collective messages that need to come out for my Cancerians? Collective messages for Cancer. For today, what are the collective messages? What is it? King of Pentacles reverse. Female though, Taurus energy. What's influencing the King of Pentacles reverse? What's influencing the King of Pentacles reverse? What's influencing the King of Pentacles reverse? And the Knight of Cups. That is a strange combination. The Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. It's romance. It's opening. I honestly feel I'm, I'm really getting that either you open somebody up or they opened you up. See the Lotus opening up to new things to love. It's influencing some. Maybe you've been a Cancer who's been single for some time or you're dealing with somebody who's been single for some time. King of Pentacles reverse. But your love is working on them. It's opening them up. What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Cancer? What's the reason for the reading? There it is. The tower. Um, it, it could be something sudden coming in. I, I honestly feel, this is, uh, it may sound cheesy, but I honestly feel this relationship is sudden. It, it, I think what you did to this person is kind of shocking. This, the tower can be, it doesn't have to be negative. It's just something that kind of came out of the blue and it's rocking this person's foundation. And maybe you've been rocking something else of this person, but yeah. What's in the past here for my Cancerians? What's in the past? What's in the past for my Cancerians? Empress reverse, Taurus and Libra energy. 
I don't feel like that's a negative Empress reverse, but I feel like if you cat out of something in the past, you just, there was not much forward movement. You've probably been within, you've been trying to heal, you've been reflecting. And here's something that comes out of the blue. And if this isn't you opening this person up, I just feel like either new love's trying to open you up and maybe you're resistant to give into it. What is on Cancer's mind? What is on the Cancer's mind? What is on the Cancer's mind? Oh, all these cards wanted to go. Nine of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Some of you are holding on to old hurt and an old story, that's for sure. What is on Cancer's mind? What is on Cancer's mind? Up oh, the world, moving on. Moving on up. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. The Jefferson's theme popped into my head. Man, that was a great show. Uh, I feel like it's time to move on the world. Time to leave the old stories behind, the old hurts, the old, the world. Feels definitely new. There's that Queen of Swords again. <sighs> Cautiously optimistic is what comes to mind. You have your eye on someone, but your boundaries are still up. All right, what's in the near future? What's in the near future for my cancers? What's in the near future? Near future, near future, near future, near future. Okay, I'll stop being annoying. Uh, Emperor reverse. The female once again with the King of Pentacles reverse. So interesting. Feeling powerless. Feeling like something can't happen. Something that's... Empress, look at these major arcana on the left and the right and the top and the bottom. You, Cancer, are surrounded by change. In the center is you trying to control the change. And it, it's something that makes you happy. You are literally, okay, for people new to, to tarot, major arcana are things out of your control. Faded events, big life lessons you signed up for before you got into this fleshy body that this is going to happen on this day. You are surrounded by this. I think you've been running from it and now it's got you at all angles. And there's a cancer looking for a loophole away from this type of change. And what could that be? change be? New love. It could be new love. You could be trying your damnedest not to give to something. You are in this world and you're trying not to go to this world. And this major arcana, God saying, no cancer, it's time. Your chariot is here. Remember, we have a chariot reverse, but you don't want to board. You don't want to get on it. You're just like, nope. But if you have to ask yourself, are you really happy trying to hold the shit together? You're still here holding on to an old story and see how you're the only one holding on to the story. It's crumbling, falling apart, and you're just like, no, 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 no. I got some, I got some uh, duct tape. I got Elmer's glue. I got some tar and feathers. It's going to stay. This shit's staying. But be honest with yourself. Even if that castle was whole, you wouldn't fit into it anymore. The problems you've been holding together have become you. The, she's become the mountain of challenges when she could have just left them behind. There's a point where loyalty is, 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 Loyalty can be good until it becomes a sacrifice of your freedom and happiness. Empery versus you still allowing the people to pull your strings. See how big this, this lady is and see those little people, but you see strings are attached. When she's like this, she's in control of the show. When it's like this, you're allowing those little people to run your show. Some of you are adults having your grown children run your show and you got someone new coming in and your children are saying, no mom, mm -mm, no dad. I don't think that I don't I don't like it or I don't want you doing this and some of you the, those little people could actually be older than you they could be your parents but you're allowing somebody to pull your strings that really shouldn't have that much power over your life and it's preventing you from living your best life king of Pentacles is abundance and so whatever this opportunity is I feel like it's a relationship to be honest but some of you it's a, something that makes your heart sing makes you open Make sure it's a, it's a dream that's coming back around. And some of you will feel like you're not able, you're not able to board this chariot. You are going to, but your four cups energy here is you're not happy where you currently are. And this is going to take you someplace else. And you're like, I don't know if I got the permission to be happy. 
even if it's giving yourself permission. All right, what's this King of Pentacles reverse influenced by the Knight of Cups? Ooh, two of Pentacles fell out sideways. King of Pentacles reverse Taurus energy influenced by the Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. King of Pentacles reverse Knight of Cups. King of Pentacles reverse Knight of Cups. King of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Cups. What is that? King of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Cups. What is that? Yeah, there it is again. Two of Pentacles. It came out first like this. Capricorn energy. Another queen like you. Um, it's Two of Pentacles, which I'm not surprised because, you know, the Empress is all four queens. She's reverse. Um, but it's okay. It's 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 getting you back. It's it's taking your power back. Both these cards is about taking your power back from those who really should never have had the power over you like that anyway. Two of Pentacles is about being flexible into life again. It's kind of a fool energy, um, but this should always be working in your life. Once you get to the Ten of Pentacles, your Two of Pentacles makes it happen. But even if you're at the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles is constantly living a purposeful life. The second hand of the clock is moving again. This energy, the second hand is broken. If you're old enough to know how an, an, a non-digital clock works, everybody looks at the first two hands, it tells you the time of day, right? Which is great, it's most important. It's not the most important, because your second hand, if that's not moving, it would always give you a broken time. You would never know what time it is. You would never know what time to go, what time to wake up. Um, so you're staying stuck in this period of time. So the two of pentacles, I like to think of it as the second hand. It's moving again. And because it's moving, time is moving. The wheel of fortune is moving. The, the, ever, the world is moving. It's time to move on and take your power back from those people who are trying to keep you small. You are, st you stand out for a reason. Don't sit there and try to look like everybody else because I mean, let everybody else be everybody else. You have to be you. You're the only one that can be you. Don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to be smart. Don't be afraid to be tall. Don't be afraid to be white. Don't be afraid to be black. Don't be afraid to be you, Cancer. Don't be afraid to be you. Accept you, scars and all. This is, you know, this is who you are. And God gave you these talents for a reason. God gave you who you are for a reason. So you can take that into the world and show others how a confident, charismatic, sexy man or woman can be. And you know why? Because you're confident. You own it. And that, this, if there's going to be a tower, it's only going to be you bringing in the towers into situations. Not allowing a tower, being worried that a tower is going to happen into your life. But if you keep holding on to what needs to go, a tower will come in to wreck everything and clear the field, the playing field. Either way, you're getting you back, the balance of life, the happiness, the, the being flexible to what's what's to come. Ooh, look at the world at the bottom. And now we got another queen here, queen of swords and the world. And it's a new you. See, this is the truth. You are the queen of cups. And when you meet people, you give them your queen of cups. You give them your cup. You give them the benefit of the doubt. You give them your, your loyalty maybe before they earn it. But now I think a different queen is coming out in you. This is a queen who doesn't take shit. This is a queen who says, you know, you crossed me once and you need to go. This is a queen who says, well, let's just pretend here's your card below it was the high priestess. Um, it's just next level. Let's pretend this is the queen of cups. This is somebody, when you meet somebody, you can say you can meet one of two people within me. You can meet my queen of swords or you can meet my queen of cups. It's your decision. And whatever you choose, accept the, the aftermath. I could be your best friend or worst enemy. It's your choice. You cross me and you got the queen of swords. If you're with me, I will be the best friend. You know, it's all about loyalty with you. You want the real, you want the real friends, the real relationships. You're tired of being affected by people who don't even have their own shit together. Um, and there's the Knight of Cups again. And the Empress upright. Look at the deck and the Four of Swords. The Devil and the Eight of Pentacles. I like this energy, actually, when you put it with money or Eight of Pentacles, is this is nobody. This is your energy now. If you take it with 
upright positive cards. The devil is just multiply it by 10. If you take it with negative cards, you can multiply it by 10 too. It's a really hard energy to pull you yourself away from. What is that? Work it on yourself. You're not losing yourself again. Work it on your money, working on getting you back, working on getting your balance back. So nobody's gonna pull you off this path again because you are so laser focused, which is why we remember, oh, there's that two of, oh, there, there, there. Look at the two of pentacles and queen of cups like I was talking about. See the infinity symbol? It never, this energy never stops moving in your life as long as you, you work it right. Queen of cups, there you are, finding your peace and balance again. See her clamshell, take it as it resonates. It's staying shut until she opens it for other, whoever deserves it. Um, I love that they put it with a clam and not a cup because it's really, the queen of cups has this massive chalice on her lap. And whoever gets her cup earns the right to, to, to bear or to pull from that cup. She just doesn't give it to anyone. This person doesn't open the clamshell just for anyone. So again, take it as it resonates, just saying. So, okay. Anyway, let's get back. That was a long deviation. All right, tell me about the tower here. Reason for the reading, the tower. I probably had the card, but I already forgot. What is the tower here, Scorpio energy? Reason for the reading. What is the tower? Reason for the reading. What is the tower? Reason for the reading. And the five of swords. Again, Cancer, trusting all the wrong people. See this five of swords is people who will lie and manipulate. This is my sweet Cancers is this person. Every time you turn your back on this energy, you forgive them. They're trying to find a way to get a sword into you. Five of swords and tower, and then you're the one holding it together for this person. And it causes you maybe an unbalance in your money. You had a 10 of pentacles. <coughs> they come along. The next thing you know, you're a nine of pentacles reverse. Your foundation's been shocked and shaken. Security is not where it should be. Okay, what is, give me another card on this five of swords. What is the five of swords about? And the nine of swords reverse. You have to let this tower go. You are bearing the burden of other people's negative karma. It's true. I think, honestly, I'm speaking for to a very high vibrational cancer. I think the people you're surrounding yourself with, you may have been the, these people in a different life. I mean, many lifetimes ago. You could have learned this life lesson a long time ago. So there's something built within you that recognizes these kind of people because you once were them. Recognize these problems because you once did them. Recognize this, this unbalance because you once were there. And you wanted somebody like yourself to come into your life to help you out. Could even been in this life on a, on a more minor scale than a, than a multi-life scale. And so you want to be the person that you didn't have, but that's great until the, you have, you're surrounded by those people and they're pulling you back to where you just came from. That's that nine of pentacles reverse. You're being, you're at a 10, but you're being pulled all the way back to zero and then some nine of pentacles reverse. So you have to be careful who you're surrounding your energy with. If it's the people you just, you, if it's a life story that you've overcame, it's nobody can withstand an army of that being surrounded by them because you are the people you surround yourself with it's simple as that and and if you if there's nothing wrong with helping people out but then you better surround yourself with people where you want to be because they're the ones who are going to fill your cup and back and once in a while you can dip out of that circle and then come back here and try to help people out but if you stay here too long you're going to lose yourself so you need to dip and find a new group of people of who you want to look up to who you want to be around the type of person you want to be and then once in a while you can like take a detour and help people out but if you, i'm telling you if you surround yourself with it they're going to pull you back what is this empress reverse in the past what is the empress reverse in the past horse energy and libra empress reverse in the past and the star Why the star, Aquarius? That's a good card. Why the star? Healing. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 healing. What is that? And the two of swords, Libra again. I honestly feel, Cancer, you are, so, you are, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm speaking to a high vibrational Cancer. 
I think the story isn't you. You're not the Empress Reverse. This is you trying to heal people who are the Empress's Reverse. This is you trying to still raise a 45 year old child or 40 year old child and trying to help them out because you didn't have that as a parent. Um, I'm, yeah, I feel like you are the, the star helping people who are stuck and they can't move on. There's, I'm telling you, and, and if, if you would be a great spirit guide, honestly, you'd be a great guardian angel one day, one day, way long time from now, but you know, you would help people who are stuck, unable, you'd be the helping hand to guide them into the light. You're trying to guide humans that are stuck into a better way. But in this read, this cancer is, I feel stuck themselves. So let's just say, let's take this back to the beginning. If this is all going into love, I feel honestly that you could actually have got your eye on somebody and you see the potential of who they can be. You see the potential of what a great person they truly are if only they saw it, but they don't see it. You know why? Because they're blindfolded. They chose to be blindfolded. Nobody blindfolded this this woman. Uh, they chose to be blindfolded. They chose to block their heart. They chose to sit there and, and, and be in the in-between. And you see all their potential in the star, but yet they're not doing anything with it with an Empress Reverse. And so maybe they dabble in drugs. Maybe they dabble in drinking too much. Maybe they dabble in being just doing uh, negative coping mechanisms. And you're saying, no, 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 I wanna open you up because I see the potential of who you are. Let me help you. I, 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 I really care for you. And the world on your mind is trying to move them along in life. Like somebody, you, like I said, you wanted to, you, you are the person you wanted to be. But in the near future, this is you. When you come into this life, you're like this. Before you know it, you're going to be being controlled by this energy. They're not ready. They're just simply not ready. What is the Emperor Reverse? Or, or actually, for some reason, I, I'll go back and clarify the world. But and I'm going to do Aries next. So even that sounds really dirty. But yeah, Aries is next. And it's interesting. We end with Aries here. But tell me about the Air, the Emperor Reverse near future. Emperor Reverse in the near future. And the four of wands, you see this person could be great spousal material. You want to help them get a home. You want to help them uh, manage a home. Maybe you're bringing this person into your home. Oh, cancer, don't tell me. You want to be their security and foundation, but you know what's going to happen? Where this is going to be another reading of you giving a 98% and waiting 2% of the time for them to give 0% in the end. And the reading could be like, I don't know why I've been breadcrumbs. I don't know why this happened. Because you gave so much. You're giving everything to the cause here. What is the emperor reverse in the four of wands? And if it's your children, of course, they're in your four of wands, creating a strong foundation for them. But what is the four of wands? Aries again, eight of cups. Either you're going to have to push the baby bird out of the nest, or this might be a relationship you might have to walk away from and be the catalyst for this person to change. Why? Because you're probably, in any of these scenarios, probably such a po the most positive force in this person's life. And you're the sun. And you, you walk away with the sun intact and you're gonna leave only the moon in this person's life. The moon energy is change. It's uncomfortable. It's unknown. It's, it's I don't like this. It forces that person to get up from that tree. Remember that four of cups that, that was here in the deck? It forces a person to get up and say, okay, I have to help myself. And then that person will end up following if this is a love. Or or the kids might even find them find their own footing. Give me another card with the eight of cups here, please. And the eight of wands reverse. There, it reminds eight of wands reverse is you have to pull your energy back. You don't have to cut the person out of your life, but you have to pull your assistance back. If a parent, if you, any of you have kids watching this and you, I'm gonna, I'll clarify this world here. Any of you have kids and if you've ever helped your child walk for the first time, what, what happens? They hold on and they take two steps in your heart, you clutch your heart and you're like, oh my God, they're gonna fall. But then you're excited at the same time, right? 
Um, what if every time you thought they were going to fall, you rush in and, and, and got their balance back and you rush in and got their balance back? They would be 43, still not able to walk because your assistance is now hindering the person. Sometimes the best thing you can do is pull yourself back and let the person walk on their own, fall on their own, because within that, they're going to learn to pick themselves back up. What is the world here? And if this is about new love, I do feel like there's a, a good, a strong connection, but the person just can't see it yet. You being there and showing them isn't helping. You taking away your love and son will help because then they'll be like, wait a second. Uh, I didn't realize I, I cared this much for cancer. What is the world here? What is the world here? What is the world here? And the Ace of Swords, the truth, the happiness. I love that you want to help people. I do. I just don't want to see it at your own expense. Ace of Swords is, because it is on your mind. It's new. It's strong. It's, okay, why the Ace of Swords in the world? And the Five of Swords reverse. Remember the reason for the reading was a Five of, or, oh, it's a Page of Swords reverse. The reason for the reading was a Five of Swords on your mind is moving on you know what's so funny is i clarified this last but this feels like it should be the near future the other the emperor reverse should have been on your mind because what i feel like is remember you're going to pull your energy back and see what happens with this world and ace of swords and some of you are going to pull your energy back because the page of swords reverse can be, it, it could be fine. It is the bad news card. It really is. It's finding something out that doesn't feel really good. And I feel, like, give me another card on that page of swords reverse. Uh, up until this point, I didn't feel like this was like what you would deem a negative read. Um, I don't feel like this person's a player or anything like that. But maybe it's not about what you find out as in online, but what you find out is this person is stuck in this two of swords over here. We have a page. If you look at the numbers, we have a page of swords, right? Or first we have an ace of swords. We have a two of swords. I feel like you are trying to help somebody and inevitably it might end up in a three of swords, right? Pain uh, with it. This page of swords reverse could be confirmation that this person's just not who they, who you feel that they are quite yet. And you being there and loving, loving them to be better, holding their hand to be better, wishing them to be better is just not enough. What is this page of swords reverse? What is this page of swords reverse? The two of wands. Yeah, exactly. So what I feel like is, is it is negative. It could be negative confirmation, but it might be a positive confirmation that in reality, they're just not going to be who you need them to be with you next by their side. Not right now. Two of wands is you waiting. And the Knight of Pentacles reverse is, you know what? And if you look at this two of wands, he's at a distance. So maybe it is um, you waiting to see what happens with this person, but you're not going to sit there and constantly give to them Knight of Pentacles reverse. Because I'm honestly, Cancer, you just don't want to be breadcrumbs. And I think that the best case scenario is this person would breadcrumb you because they're just not ready yet. What is this Knight of Pentacles reverse? And yeah, there it is, the Three of Swords. This is about to happen for some of you. It's about to happen. If it's with your kids or a new relationship, you know why? Because you're trying to, you're trying too hard. You're trying to be everything and not allowing this person to be anything. And what you're going to get is nothing. So you have, oh, my ear is ringing on that one. So you have to pull yourself back and see what happens. Well, and they could disappoint you in a page of swords reverse, or they could really, they could really like, what's a word of the opposite of disappoint you? I can't even think of it. They could really surprise you that, you know what? Some people do come through, even if you don't have to push them through. 
So that's just where I'm feeling. This was a long reading. It felt like it was a bonus read, even though I didn't do the extended. Alrighty, Cancer. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Um, yeah, it's, don't you love Saturdays? I love Saturdays. I hope you guys have a really great day. Take care.